Malahay into the batter's box, the right-handed hitting second baseman, and now for the ball game. First pitch, cut on and missed. Noon, a fairly quick worker, has it and delivers another off-speed pitch line through the left side for a base hit. Three multi-hit games, including a pair of home runs in the MAG tournament. Socks that one down the left field line. That'll land fair and trickle into the corner. LaHaye on his way to third. He's getting the green light. Here's the relay throw from Wallace Clark. It is not in time. An RBI double for Luke Lesh. And it's Ryder on the board first. One nothing. The one two. No. And that hit him right on the top of the shoes. Made the NCAA tournament a year ago. Lines that one out to right field. Grassi got a late break. It'll foul in front of him. Lesh speeding around third. He will score. And it's runners at the corners for Ryder and a 2-0 lead for the Bronx. That ends the inning. A good breaking ball. A pair of strikeouts for Noon. Noon, a quick worker. Fires the 0-2 home. And that one looped into right center field and in front of Obi for a base hit. Runner goes. Pitches outside. Stone's throw is... Not in time. Guy that handles the bat very, very well. Rolls that one toward the left side. Clark up with it and gets the out, but a productive out there. That's really good. The payoff pitch. Roll toward short. Clark will concede the run for the out. It's 3-0 Ryder as Lesh drives in his second of the game. The only really hard hit ball was the double by Lesh in the first inning as Weaver misses with ball four outside. Hartman lines one to right. That'll land a base hit. To second base goes Winsett. He'll stumble around the bag. Throw comes behind him, but not in time as Winsett gets back in there easily. That is ball four. The one and oh. That pops right in front of Stone. Runner breaking for home. Stone can't find it. It's a wild pitch and a run is in. And that one lined to short, diving stop by Clark from his knees, throws him out. Scatini trying to start the inning off right and takes ball four. Runner doesn't go, the payoff pitch is grounded through the left side of base hit, he beat the shift. Racing toward third goes Scatini. There'll be runners at second and third and nobody out for Ryder in the fifth inning. Hart is ready, the 2-2 two -two to center field. OB drifting back. This should be plenty deep to get the run home. Scatini tags. Throw comes back into the infield, and it's a 5 nothing lead for Ryder in the fifth inning. Runner goes for third. Pitches a strike. They pay very little attention to Lesh, who has his second stolen base of the year, down by five. Rolled over towards second. That'll get the job done. 6 nothing Ryder on Winsett's second RBI of the day. And that to right field and fair, tumbling into the corner. Stone on his way to second with his second double of the day. Now Stone, I thought for a moment, had a notion to go to third, but he will hang on there. Bravo to center field, that's down a base hit. Rogers to third and we'll stop there. So a double and a single for Duke in the ninth. That one grounded right side and through a base hit. Scoring is Rogers. And it's now a six to one lead for Ryder. Obi takes one that kicks away from the catcher. Both runners advance on the wild pitch. Two and two with the runners leading. Rolled over left side. This will get a run home as that one bounced to first, but a nice play by Lesh. One down in the ninth, Duke down four. And Winslow comes up empty. Ground ball to second base. This should do it. Lay up with it. And Ryder with the win. The right-hander is ready. And now for the ball game. A first pitch that misses outside. Emus out of the stretch at all times. The two-strike pitch is rolled toward short. A diving try by Clark. Won't get it. And it's into left field. Oh, one out single. Same with the shift. You can still shift. Runner bluffs again, doesn't go. Pull toward third and fair inside the bag and into the left field corner. Scatini will have extra bases to third and getting the wave around is Pascal. The relay throw won't be made. And for the second straight game, Ryder comes out and strikes in the first inning. It's 1 0 Bronx. 
Clark behind the bag as the pitch is swung on and hammered out toward right center field. Obi on the move. Won't get it. It'll roll all the way to the wall. Another run will score. Back-to-back -back doubles, and it's 2-0 Ryder in the first. Batters in the order for Ryder. He loops that one in the center field. Another base hit. Lesh turns the corner. Obi's throw will be cut off as Lesh holds on at third. Tied for most on the team. Not going. Instead, it's blooped into right field. Another base hit. Another run scores. It's 3-0 Ryder in the first. Bats here did not start yesterday, but pulls that one behind the bag at first. Bravo goes to second. There's one. Return to first is high. Bangs up against the dugout. Hartman racing around third. He scores a 4-0 lead for Ryder. And Emus to the plate. Out to left field for Krusen, who lopes back a bit and ends the inning. 3-2. And Morris will earn a one-out or a leadoff walk. A ball and a strike. Stone out in the center field, another base hit. Two on with one out for the Blue Devils. 3-1, and that's ball four. Constantly, Duke sees that velocity. Saw it all fall. That one off the mound and into center field. We'll get at least one home. Around third comes Stone. As the throw comes to second, it's a two-run hit for A.J. Gracia. He's up to 22 RBI, and the Blue Devils have cut the lead in half. Had a really nice summer as well. 3-2. Obi is hit. Would have been ball four anyway. Winslow to left field. A base hit. This should tie the game. Here comes Gracia around third. On his way to third is Obi. It's a two-run double for Winslow, and the game square in the first inning. Good piece of hitting right there. Out to right field. Hartman watches it bounce. One run is in. Winslow will stop at third. Krusen with his sixth RBI, and Duke leads 5-4. 3-2, runner does go. Clark out toward left center field. Darting back Sika, still going into the gap. He can't get it. It's over the wall for an automatic double. Winslow scores. Krusen to third. And that's ball four. If I keep doing the same things over and over again. Isn't that what Jefferson said is the definition of insanity? Line to left center field for a base hit. Two more runs are going to score. Boy, look at Morris run. He's already around third, and he goes first to third. A base is clearing double for Miller, and a big opening frame for the Blue Devils. Hammers a curveball to left center field. That is extra bases. It's 10 to four Blue Devils and Stone into second base with his third double of the series. Early, didn't we? That one hit him with a curveball. And we'll see it Friday night against Clemson as well. Obi rolls one to third and stepping on the bag is wins it. That will retire this side. Duke looking to add to this six run lead. And that ball out toward right center field and a wallop. That'll be a gapper for sure. Extra bases for Morris. He'll turn second and had a notion for third, but a leadoff double. Stone out to right field, hit well. Harmon back, still going at the wall. It's gone. Alex Stone to right field, his fourth of the year. It's 12 to four Duke. So Stone, we talked about it yesterday, hitting the ball so hard, had two doubles yesterday, and now really turning things around today. Stone has singled, doubled, and now homered. Three and two on Morris. That is ball four. And that's ball four. Lines one to short, under the glove of the shortstop lay into left field. Racing around third, Morris. He will score standing up. Chad Knight off the bench with an RBI hit and a 13 to four Duke lead. Ball game ends right here. To the left side, gloved nicely by Winsett. Steps on third, throws to second for one. They tried to turn three, but they were not able to. They do get the double play. Pinch hitter Weaver. That one to the right side into the shift, picked up by Labruciano. A low throw is dug out. Shewitt will come on to catch. Scatini moves to first base, and Evans off the bench with a base hit. Line drive, left side, base hit. Racing around third is Evans. He'll get the stop sign there. Rodgers takes one that hits him. Would have been ball four anyway. It means a 10-run Duke lead the pitch. Murray takes ball four. Evans will come home to score. McNeely out of the stretch. A swing and a fly ball, hammered to left field. This could be trouble, a grand slam for Andrew Yu.
his second homer of the season. And indeed it is an exclamation point for you. The payoff pitch is just off the outside corner. Ground ball to third, this should do it. Knight up with it, goes to second, and that's the ball game.